Good evening. I'm JR Ridge, and I'm your tonight's host for On Time Cooking, where local chefs and food enthusiasts come together to meet our challenge. Try to cook a meal in under 30 minutes. And with me tonight, Bernadette Brown as our co-host. I How am here. I'm very good tonight. And welcome. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you. It's, it's actually my first time. I'm happy to be here. And you Thank wouldn't you. know it. You're awesome. Thank you. And the king of the keys, John Dash Dixon. Thank you. I like the way you did that. My man. My man. Watch point in your finger. And our food, <laughs> <laughs> and our food enthusiast, Zach. How are you? How's it going? Very good. Very good. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, I'm good. excited to have you. And I would love to introduce you guys to our chef this evening, Chef Kyle. All right. All right. Oh, he's here to work. <laughs> the man. <laughs> He is here. Chef Kyle, how's it hey, going, my friend? Good, How are good. You? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Vaughn, you've shrunk. I, 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 been here. I haven't been here in a long time. I'm actually very hungry. Oh, I'm glad. Ooh. Thank you. I'm glad. All right. We're going to do some amazing food tonight. Yeah, we are. What about, what's, what's the plan for this evening? Well, I'm going to use eggs three ways, but in one dish. I'm going to make eggs benedict with a homemade sauce. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. I'm ready for it. Do you need anything from us? Nope. Perfect. Not at all. all right. Do your thing. Thank you. Cool. My name is Kyle, Chef Kyle, and I will be doing eggs three ways, and but only in one dish. So to start off with, I'm going to make my hollandaise sauce and get to the eggs later. But a lot of people are like, they don't want to do a hollandaise sauce because they're afraid of breaking it. They don't know how to do it. They don't, um, they're not sure what to do, how much lemon to add, how much eggs to add. Um, am I going to overcook my eggs or am I going to undercook my eggs? Well, I'm going to show you a way where it's easy for a home cook to do without breaking your sauce. That's why you're here, Kyle, right? Thank you. Do the best you can. <laughs> I know you're going to do it. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Thanks. Yeah. I know it's been a long time. It has been, but hey, but, but it's, it's been, good to see you. It's been nice. Yeah. So, what I'm going to start off with, I have already four egg yolks in a bowl and typically you want to keep them out at room temperature for I would take them out of the refrigerator for about five minutes five minutes is good same with the butter that you're gonna use take it out just to let it soften and what you want to use your bowl with on is a double boiler which you have some water in a pan and is I would say simmering you don't want it to boil you obviously don't want to have your eggs cooking while you're making a sauce. So if you have it simmering, you can leave your bowl on oh, top of neat. the uh, water. And another major thing, you do not want to fill your pan so high it's touching the bottom yeah. of your uh, bowl because it will cook your eggs also. Very so cool. you want to keep it below the, below the uh, bottom of the bowl. And what you want to do is just keep whisking, and that's very important to keep whisking your egg yolks because obviously they're very temperamental. You're going to you might eggs. cook them. <laughs> Always temperamental. And yeah. the best thing, another thing I found out where if you uh, have it on boil, you're gonna take it off, put on, take it off, put on, because the thing is, is that you see your eggs getting a little done yeah, for the most part. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. what I like to do myself is add a little bit of water. A little bit of water to okay. thin it out. Probably about a teaspoon of water. Nice tips. Oh, I'm, I'm liking it. Like yeah, that's a good one. I wouldn't know. Yeah. And you still, and like I said, at that point when you have your eggs, well, have your water at a simmer, you can actually turn it down just a little. You have it at a simmer. You don't, you still don't want to walk away from it, but you still want to just keep stirring keep and stirring and That's stirring. That's the secret. You have to keep yep. on whisking it. Keep whisking, keep whisking. But the best thing, like I said, if you have it at boil, you're not taking off, taking on, right. taking off. And it's the consistency cool. you need. Yeah. Right? And what you want to do, you want to get those egg yolks fluffy. And what else? The, the, when I read this the first time, I'm like, fluffy, all I can think of is scrambled fluffy eggs. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'm just thinking that same thing. Well, fluffy, I would say, other than the uh, comedian, 
<laughs> I would say, I, I would say like them. a like a foam kind of like yeah. almost like airy, like yeah, nice airy, and airy, airy. There you go. Did it. I'm done now. There yeah. you go. Now you can go home and relax. You did it. Your, your <laughs> cooking is done. <laughs> hey Kyle, while you're fluffing those eggs up, would you like to hear a fact about uh, a comp So this one's called Not Your Queen's Muffins. <laughs> so despite their name, the English muffins were invented in the United States by Samuel B. Thomas of Thomas's English Muffins. There you go. Uh, he was English. Uh, he opened his bakery 1880 in New York City, started selling these Wow. Things. Yeah. Really? Long time ago. And apparently it was his mother's crumpet recipe that he kind of forgot. No way! So, but that's How the, that's the legend. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! I can get that crumpet that's thought yeah. into that. I got that. He named him after his home country. I got it. Good old Sam. Yeah. You right, order an English Sam's muffin in England. They don't know what you're talking about. Seriously? Really? Yeah. I mean, they probably do. Well, they probably, they probably do. do. Yeah. Yeah. It's not movie. not really it's nobody really City. eats them there. Yeah. Very interesting. I think that's super. That's now, super. Now we got our eggs fluffy. Um, if the camera can get on in on this, it's this is what you're looking for. It's fluffy, aerated. It's, it has a little bit of bubbles. That's what you want to look for. Now it's time to add your lemon. Yeah. For le <laughs> people who like lemon, add a lot of lemon. Me, I'll do squeeze a half lemon, and that'll be good. But for the, I'm not telling not to add a lot of lemon, but go ahead. But please don't use the uh, little. Uh, what do, what oh. did it come? No, the, uh, um, the what's that come in in those oh, little, the little lemon? Jars, like yes. little, yeah, get the lemon juice. Yes, like the oh, big no. lemon. Come yeah. on. So Thank please you. don't. <laughs> and then once you got <laughs> the that problem. in there, yeah. now you can add your butter. Is that a nice herb butter? Now there? this is a garlic butter. Ooh. This is what I like there to you use. Go. But. Certainly, you can use regular butter if you mm. want, mm. but I just wanted to do a little, Dip it up a little, right? yeah, yeah, do give it something a little, little different. Yeah. You know? Do something I like a, a little zazz. different. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Zazz is a good word. Yeah, zazz exactly. That's another word of the day. <laughs> exactly. A hollandaise sauce. And, oh. I, and so, and if you don't use the herb butter, you can season the eggs you as you go. You can season the eggs. Okay, I just but thought I'd ask. You can season the eggs. You can season. You can put um, salt and pepper okay. in your hollandaise sauce. Okay. You can do whatever you want yeah. to your hollandaise mm -hmm. sauce. Um, basically, how I like to do it, if I'm at home, if I don't have herb butter, just uh, regular butter, egg yolks, a little bit of water, and lemon juice. That's it. That's a done deal. That's it. And that's all furrowed on the. Uh, um, Hollandaise sauce, and oh. there that is your. That doesn't even take that long, did it? Oh, no, it doesn't take that long. It's very, very oh, simple. That does look good, doesn't it? Very yeah. easy. And like that looks really and good. And how long did it take me? Not too long. No, not at all. It uh, took you uh, twenty uh, minutes. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm uh, kidding. We're all got ten out minutes of time. left. Yeah, uh, we got to really. <laughs> and 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 what? A home cook could do it. That's mm -hmm. ah, you're a chef. I mean, I mean, I just I just showed you in yeah. three minutes how to yeah. do a homemade sauce. It's not that hard. It's if you just keep it on low. That's the that's thing that secret. kills your sauce mm -hmm. is heat mm -hmm. and time. Yeah. More you keep it over the heat, it's gonna cook, and more heat sure. is gonna cook faster. So you you put it on low right. and simmer and just cook it. And you can always cook and slower. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Always. You can go always you can't go slower. When you, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And once it's, it's past where it's done baking or yeah. like yeah. Egg, scrambled eggs, yeah. it's done. Right. Now what I'm gonna do is turn up this heat, bring it to a boil, actually, and while that's coming to a boil, I'm gonna start on my English muffins. Okay. Now I English have this pan. Muffins. Now you uh -huh. can. You can do it in a toaster, which I recommend. Do it in a toaster, but for sake of the TV. Mm -hmm. and, TV, we don't have a TV. And <laughs> and just from the show, yeah, we're just so, in so 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 everybody sees. I'm gonna just do it in a pan. That's nice. Okay. And you know what? My mom used to do it in the pan, actually. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's nice, yeah. that, especially you get the little griddle pan. Yeah, you get those nice the marks lines. On it. Yeah. 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 So I think I got another fact. Oh, good. Let's mm -hmm. do this. Might be related to something we're doing here. <laughs> Might. Okay. Let's this hear one it. I call proprietary pockets. So, excuse me. 
proprietary okay. pocket. Okay. So what we have, we, we do have uh, some English muffins here, and, and this is all based on the Thomas's brand, but the term nooks and crannies, mm. which I forgot to close the quote on, so that whole thing's a quote now. But the term nooks and crannies is actually trademarked by uh, Thomas's parent company, so you cannot use that to promote your own products. Just thought I'd let everybody know before you just go wild. <coughs> <laughs> well, that erased all of my yesterday because I was walking around the office at uh -huh. work saying nooks and crannies, nooks, nooks and, and crannies. crannies. Yeah, we got to get this new marketing so. <laughs> campaign of nooks and crannies off the ground. <laughs> no, that's pretty. I have never heard it um, describing anything other than the English muffin. Yeah, ever. I mean they did a good job. It's not great like job. Arts, you know, it's just like that's it. They did a great nooks job. Nooks and crannies, Thomas's English muffin. That's all it is. Boy, he did a lot. 1880s. Yeah. Man, he was smart. He's been busy, yeah. He's been really All busy. All the way up to today. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I bet he's really creative today. He's very tired. <laughs> very tired. Mr. Uh, Thomas would like a break. <laughs> <laughs> right. I love these little, because, you know, I never thought about, you know, the English muffins. So what are you doing in that um, well, pot over there now? What I'm going to do is waiting for these to grill. Okay. And I cranked up the heat. Our holiday sauce is good. And we have these little ham steaks. Mm. They're smoked ham. You can get them at Publix. You can yeah. get them at any grocery yeah. store. Typically, it's Canadian bacon. Right. Mm -hmm. Typically. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, if you Got can't, it. especially down in Florida, if you can't find Canadian bacon, mm -hmm. which is kind of hard, uh, smoked ham will do just fine. Yeah, um, good stuff. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, it tastes just, just as well. But... Um, I like to use smoked ham or any any smoked meats. You could use sausage if you like or anything like that. But, yeah, that's the, but then the it's not eggs benedict. That's exactly. not, it's you're not. Right. You're right. Then it is but, a variant. But you're right. But I like it because it's cut round and it fits on English muffins. Mm -hmm. Perfect, right? Yeah. Good job. It's a good good reason to like good it. Job. Now, do you have um, butter or oil or anything well, in the pan you for the can, English I, muffins? I don't have any butter in the pan. Okay. But beforehand, I did spray the uh, um, English muffins lightly with some butter spray. Okay. Just, just to give it that concern. taste, that light taste. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, for the TV, you can actually, a lot of people, I can see putting it in the toaster, taking it out, then then putting their butter on it, mm -hmm. and letting yeah. it melt. Yeah. Yeah. Which you're actually getting a little brown probably with it too. Like yeah. The toast with that and that's, that's the that's, that's the key yeah. is to get a little brown on mm -hmm. here. Um, you, I don't want it like toasted right. uh, fully myself. I like it this way better. Yeah, and you definitely don't want to put butter on it and then put it in the toaster. Oh yeah. no! Exactly. What? Did you ever do that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! No. Not a tip anyone should. Don't try it. At home. No, don't try it. At home. <laughs> don't I, try it anywhere. <laughs> Please. I, I've known somebody actually that put peanut butter on bread and threw it in the toaster before. Ooh. No, that stuff melts. Did they throw the toaster away after yeah. that? I don't know. I, 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 I didn't. Well, I guess you just pull the tray out. Oh, oh. Yeah. Full With of the peanut gummy butter. Peanut yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I didn't okay. stay around to see. And, <laughs> <laughs> No, it's always fun when you're here because you have such different dishes. We've mm -hmm. not had anything with a. I don't think we've had a breakfast item. And and and. Item. Uh, I don't. I can't recall. Oh. How how long? How many shows have you guys done so far? One thousand. One thousand. Oh, one one thousand. One thousand. One hundred. We're on our one hundredth episode. Yes, yeah, it's one hundred. It's sorry. our centennial. No, centennial. Not. Centiversary? <laughs> Centiversary? <laughs> and uh, I can't even top that one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna let go. go with it. How about another fact? Why don't we see? Oh, let's got, do this. I had a few facts tonight. I wanted to make sure we get to them all. This oh, one is like called this. Holland Days. Mm -hmm. It's about the Holland Days. It's a French word which means Dutch sauce. But it's actually maybe not Dutch. Yeah, hold uh, on. The first time somebody wrote it down, 1651, uh, in a recipe. Uh, for asparagus with fragrant sauce. sauce. Yeah, but it's also appeared in um, yeah. Holland. Like Holland? Uh, yeah. Hey. And they have they have the thing yeah. for it. And actually, a lot of people called it Dutch sauce in English for a really long time until 
the 20th century, everybody started getting a little frou frou, and they're like, let's do the holiday sauce. Yeah, instead of Dutch sauce, we're gonna like call you don't want to have it with Dutch sauce. It doesn't sound the same. Yeah, and holidays holiday. is actually like redundant. Like in two Holland languages. days. It and is. It Holland days is. Well, that's because we all yeah. we all get along no matter. We do. Where, yeah. yeah. You know, so you have Holland days on an English muffin that's not actually not from England. Yeah. From New York. That's, New York. That's what I'm saying. I'm Everything telling you, we all get together with yeah. around food and family and friends. That's it. Maybe we all be called a New York muffin. Yeah. yeah. New York muffin. No, New York bagels. New York <laughs> bagels? Oh, there you they, go. They, All right. Then that, that would be something else. <laughs> yes. Now you can see that these are lightly brown. Mm -hmm. You can do them to wear it to whatever you want. If you want them a lot browner than this, that's great. If you don't, that's great. It's up to you, and it's up to your toaster, pretty much. So, probably put the nicest one there. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, I am going to ring you in right here with a little dinner bell. Something else. To have a visitor. Chef Kyle. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've been watching backstage. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what. Do you think you're going to make it? Oh, I'm going to make it. You are? <laughs> I always do it on time. I always get done on time. Very confident man. I like yeah. that. I like that. Uh, let's take a minute and hear, hear from our sponsors. Thank you. Chef Kyle, we're yes. ready for this. John oh, Dash yeah. Dixon. And Thanks. this music is sponsored by HDG Public Adjusters. Thank you. Let's take it away. Thank you, HDG. Yes. I'll see you at the finish line, sir. Yes, you will, sir. <laughs> Need some triangle, John? Get you started. Triangle. Yeah. Good, <laughs> I? And here we go. And here we go. Uh oh. And this is sponsored by. <laughs> <laughs> and we can all sing. We could there you whistle go. while you work. Yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. And Just here, lay it down, John. Let's yeah, hear something. Doesn't do it. Just lay down some Come funk, on, brother. You, can you know do what? It. It doesn't even feel like work anymore. No, I, it's I, not. I just got off work. It's awesome. It does, just doesn't go feel for like work. It. Just go for it. I bet you have never played this before. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good right? You've never played. Well, while we're while yeah, we're I got another fact for, while we're waiting. Go. Go oh, there we go.
so we can eat. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> soon, soon. In We're about ten you. minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> We're getting there. You got it. You are doing fabulous, by the way. Okay, so. So what I'm doing now is I put our little ham steaks in the uh, pan, and what I want to do is cook those off. And I have my English muffin sitting. I have my uh, hollandaise sauce already, mm -hmm. and just waiting for the uh, ham steaks because I want to show you a little trick that I've learned back in the day. Mm. I would back say back in the day. Back in the day. In 1880, with well, Samuel in New York City. <laughs> yeah. Almost, back in the day. Almost that long, but. <laughs> But I would say back in 1999. Oh, that's a song too. That's, yeah. that's 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 in my day. Um, obviously, most of my experiences that I've done cooking wise um, was with Disney, and that's where I was an apprentice. So a lot of things I learned from there that I still remember. It's amazing that that's I still remember cool. actually. But. Oh, that's a nice history. Yeah. Right now I'm flipping these ham steaks or the smoked ham. Now which one is that? Is that smoked ham then? This is actually smoked ham, yeah, yes. Yeah, I thought so. I just call it ham steaks because it looks like yeah, a ham steak. Yeah. It's a ham steak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're good with that. And what I like to do is there's a couple tricks that I like to do with these uh, eggs. I haven't... I haven't poached an egg other than this morning. The last time I poached an egg was in 1999. <laughs> oh! So oh, I'm a little bit rusty, that. and it's amazing that I actually remember this trick. Okay. And what's funny is that my mom asked me a couple times, how do I poach an egg? How do you keep it from wow. spreading out? So I try to tell her on the phone, but it's hard to tell her, and it's hard to tell anybody unless you show so them how to do it. You can, you can obviously say, all right, you do this, you do this, you add this, and well, this, you should, you should, uh, it should be good. But how you do it, let me get these ham steaks out, or smoked ham, put nice. one there. And you know what? What's good about this? This isn't only for breakfast. No, it's never See, only for breakfast. Yeah, that's no, the thing. No. No, food is for anything. Oh, you yeah, got that right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you heard of brunch. I mean. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's. I mean, I mean, that's. You know, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Just, and that's that's matter. the best thing. I mean, if you're hungry for eggs Benedict at one in the morning, go ahead, make it one you in the morning. I've never had eggs Benedict. No. I don't You've think never that. had egg no, Benedict. No, I've never had it. Just never did. not on purpose. I just never had it. So now I can say I have. Now, mm. cool. What? Right. One of the tricks that I learned is you add a little bit of vinegar mm. to the water. You don't want, obviously, you don't want your vin water tasting like vinegar. So you want to add probably a half a cup of vinegar to your water. Why do you have to have, have a cup? One, because it'll help the whites um, hold on to the yolk for the most part. And second, to hold on to the yolk, what you want to do is keep stirring with a whisk or you can use a spoon, whatever you're comfortable with. And you know how you make a little tornado as yeah, kids, you make that little tornado? Yeah. And that's what you do. No way. And you let it go. No. You dump your egg in there, and it'll spin. No way! Oh, some trip it'll force to the wow. rescue. Wow! Yeah. And, oh and just like everything, depending what on... Great. depending Depending on how long you want your egg to be in the water yeah. or whatever, um, it's up to you. I like to leave it in for about a minute. And that was my next question, how long is yeah. it approached it? Like you can, I mean, you can have it like a little harder if you like. Um, it yeah. doesn't matter, but I like to keep it in for a minute. A minute yeah, sounds yeah. good. Great. Or yeah. you can look, and if it's floating like it is now, you can take it out. Oh, perfect. And what you do, what you have left, is really pretty cool. And I, I hope, 
Oh, and I hope mom, mom is watching. Come on, mom. Because that is such a cool trick. That's great. This wow. I'm impressed is with that. what you have. Mm. Now, I am impressed with that one. You can do it over again. Now, like I say, you can do it with a spoon, you can do it with a whisk, whatever you want. You keep that. And, and you wonder why I have the eggs in these little dishes instead of cracking it. You can certainly crack it yeah. in there well, and make make the little third arm, mm -hmm. third hand. Yeah. yeah, make the little tornado and dump in your that. egg. Well, one good reason to crack into a bowl is so you don't get any eggshells in your pot. Exactly. And that is right. That is the main it's reason is because you can still take it out of the uh, out of the uh, dish. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. If you dump it, but if you put it in here. Bye bye. It's a yeah. done deal. It's a done deal. Another tip for that: get your fingers wet before you try to grab the eggshell, and it'll actually be able to stick to the eggshell. So you don't have to chase it around. I did not know that. In the hot water? No, no. Oh, you, no. If you crack, <laughs> hold on, let me back it up. If you crack an egg in a bowl. into a bowl, yes. and you get eggshell in the bowl, wet your finger. Before wet your finger, you and then it'll stick to it. the eggshell. Yes. You got it. And before the show's over, because we're getting close. I know we are. I will say I got one more fact. I want to hear the, the one because you said you did. So let's hear this it. This one's kind of fun. Oh, good. So this one's called eggs benefit of the doubt. Oh my god. <laughs> So the origin of Eggs Benedict is disputed. Uh, mostly these stories all take place around the turn of the century, um, the 20th century, right, not yeah. the 21st. Right. Uh, and, and, and it's always a guy named Benedict. And it's always this rich old person who I guess just wants a little more cachet before they kick it off. And uh, yeah, they all claim to have invented. There's a Commodore in France. There's a, oh, that's an old lady who funny. ate breakfast at a hotel every day. And she's like, can't you make me something different? And so they made her this egg Benedict oh. and named it after, I guess, because you name it after the annoying person. Oh, the annoying person. And the last one was a Wall Street investor who claimed that he had a hangover and he went in and he said, give me toast, with ham and eggs and holiday sauce. And they made it for him and they just switched out for an English muffin and he started serving it as a dinner. Oh, so we, we, we don't know. We don't know. But a bunch of rich old people named Benedict all claim it. They're gone. Well, there's yeah. two strikes for me. My name's not Benedict, and I'm not rich. Nope. <laughs> so, yep, I have nothing to do with it. Down. Wow. What? You know what? And that was going to be a question. Why do we call it Eggs Benedict? So we will never know. We'll never nope. know. Never you know what? Know. Kyle, I think that arrangement of yours looks so nice. Mm hmm that I think you should just have uh, our, uh, our host right here. test off of that single plate and we'll save that arrangement. And we can save that exactly. there. Yeah. yeah, and let's do the single. Is yeah. there exactly. anything else you want to do to this well, plate this here before? Is, this is how you finish. You got, you got I, like the, yeah, I like you the finish. Time. You take that take sauce it. that you have <laughs> and it's still know. creamy and see it's not broken. Like, yeah. like a lot of people think, oh, it's so hard to keep tight. But one thing I do have to say about a homemade sauce, a fresh homemade sauce, you cannot keep it overnight. You oh. cannot keep it overnight and you cannot reheat fresh. it because if you uh -huh. reheat homemade sauce, you have to think it's an egg. Yeah. So it you is know. gonna scramble. It'll turn into a gremlin. No, right? yes. You are right. Is that what happens if you keep it overnight? It gr the bad gremlin. It turns into I can't the remember gremlin. the bad gremlin. Yep. Oh, spike. look at the spike. That's yeah. a spike. For stripe. For stripe because you have the moa. Stripe headline, yeah. And there is. Wow. And I see the herbal butter. Yeah. Oh, that looks rich. Doesn't it, though? It like wow. Yeah. Now. I sincerely never had. Because I just never did. That. Now, what you want to do, for just for garnish, a little paprika. Oh, I, love yeah, paprika. I love paprika. Which I like. Yep. Making me love think about it. deviled eggs. That's it, me too. And, yeah. and you have a little. Green onion, chives, which I love, nice. and this is for Vaughn because sometimes he says my food isn't elegant enough oh, duh. for what I'm doing. What does he know? So, <laughs> so I oh, like to add my goodness. a little bit because you have to think it's very salty. Oh, so, that a little bit of caviar great, because the thing is, did you ever see? Add salt to my eggs. No, you did no. not. To my 
to my no. uh, sauce. And that there, look let me move this. There, you have an egg Benedict. Yeah. Right this way. That is gorgeous. And you can do it at home. You can do it um, anywhere you want. You can do. You've seen me do one, two, three at a time. You saw me do one, and you can play it up one. Do it for your husband. Do it for your girlfriend, wife. And that's it. And I've done it. And you did it. Once again. I'd say you're ready, right? Oh yeah. Give it one tick here. Give it one set. Let's just, uh, let's let's just bask this. in the glow of this. Bask in the glow. <laughs> bask in the glow. <laughs> beautiful dish. You know, that's Let's beautiful. just think about how Cousin It is not in the room. Cousin It. <laughs> Cousin It is here. <laughs> inside joke. Inside. Real inside. Yeah, real inside. That's real inside. <laughs> it's real inside. Cobb, that's beautiful. All right. I think we got some JR now. And then you take I the rest of it, it and you add a... Uh, chicken bouillon, mm -hmm. and you got egg drop soup. But that's another show. Chef Kyle. Yes, sir. I want to give you a round of applause. Thank you. Everybody, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. You did it. You know what? One thing I do want to tell you, my mother used to cook this for me on Sunday morning. That's okay. really When cool. I was young. That's and cool. This looks amazing. So, hey, thank mom, you. Chef Kyle, well, let's check it out. I'm JR Rich Welcome. and the rest of the gang, VPN Productions. We thank you and we're going to dig in. Chef Kyle, we're going to dig in. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And happy holidays to everybody. Thanks, thank guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. Good night. Is this us right here? Yeah, I'm going to finish up the eggs and then.